Look, mate. Hello. Like the biggest waste man, bro. Welcome back. Um, biggest waste man. Renaissance Man podcast. We're talking about swarms, uh, Tommy Fury, all of them, and <laughs> their boxing is dead. Isn't it basically this is what these men are saying. Um, listen, welcome back. Before we start, I want to say uh, the camera's wonky. That's what I want to say. I was looking. That's what I was just <laughs> looking at, thinking, "Am I moving mad?" Yeah, like I was saying, I want to start off firstly saying, "Look, it's not going to change right as of right now, but a sad moment, but." It is what it is. Our name is going to change. We're going to be named, renamed Renaissance Man Production. This is because we're not going to be doing a lot of other things under Renaissance Men. So it's going to be Renaissance Man Production, and then it's going to be podcasts, it's going to be vlogs, it's going to be Calvin cooking shows, <laughs> everything, you know? Um, so we're not going to limit ourselves to just podcast, but that's not going to change right now. It's going to change around November time. For for a few uh, back office reasons that I cannot say till I don't want to jinx anything, but yeah, that is that. But anyway, we're happy to fucking be back. Uh, I certainly am. We haven't filmed properly in over a month, and I fucking miss this shit, you know. Um, so yeah, to start us off, let's start us off something fun before these men go because we've all got notes. I just want to say because while we've been off, I took a note of everything. That's just struck me. As honest as it is, no matter what it is, I've just fucking put it on my notes. One of the things I do want to ask you, AJ, because it struck me while I was off, I was on Instagram <laughs> scrolling. <laughs> I just want to say, since um, it has got a Khloe Kardashian remix, does it make you want to go back? <laughs> I got last one. I was like, shit, I need to ask Sergio this shit real quick. But um, we'll wait, we'll wait for him. <laughs> he doesn't have to answer, but so anyway. Um. Anyway, where we starting this? Back. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> he answered. Welcome it. back, motherfuckers. Welcome back. Um. What uh, was you man saying about Storm? Did you punch him up? Oh yeah. Go Swarm. on, Izam. What are you saying? I was saying. I didn't say I punch him up. I just said <laughs> backtrack. Bro, bro, he made bread. He went in there. He fought my man. Fair enough. Got his face punched off, embarrassed himself, but bruv, he ain't a boxer and he made bread. Probably more than fucking. Don't do that. Don't do any that. More of his, any more than <laughs> of his albums I've ever done. Don't do yeah. that. <laughs> Big him up, man. <laughs> oh, but man. AJ was saying that he could punch him up. So, AJ? Go I'm on. sorry. I think I could punch him up. I'm with AJ on that one. I think I think I could edit. Not punch him up. I don't, I don't not punch him nah, up. Nah, he's dead. Fam, I was sat in my living room, yeah, and Heather watches the little sad men videos and that. Mm. So she was very excited to tell me that the rapper Swarms, uh, Swarms, is fighting <laughs> KSI. Like, she was super excited, yeah. I was like, oh, raw. Right. I don't even know Swarms like that. And I was like, show me a video. The video was him doing, you know, when they do the, like, pull up, ah, ah. ah. Mothers, I saw eight seconds, said he's losing. Get him off the my screen is, right now, bro. I actually can't disrespect him because no bad at you man yeah. yeah quick quick short story me and josh mm -hmm. you know sometimes we'd be doing the spontaneous ones edit so me and josh yeah. one night it's wednesday night it's about 10 30 we get the lib shout and you know when you get the lib shout late mm -hmm. or maybe tomato don't know edit but yeah i don't know i mean when, when you get the lib shout late one thing leads to another basically we ended up at libs dino and swarms were in there innit so. On the table opposite us, Roddy, Ra, whatever, whatever. You and Josh, were in there. Yeah, me and Josh, <laughs> you were and in Josh, there. and you and Josh. Looking at me and Josh, it was meant to edit. But anyway, Dino and Swans were in there. <laughs> <laughs> and fucking, bro, he was just staring at me, in it. But in my head, I was thinking, I recognize it, but I only recognize it because he raps, like, yeah. Anyway, long like he's with a couple of things, whatever, whatever. Long story short, comes to the end of the night now, and he comes up to me, ain't it? Swear. And I'm thinking, oh, God, great. And he's like, where do I know you from? And I'm like, rah, I don't know, ain't it? And he's like, you play football for Oxford? And I was like, ah, oh, yeah, I used to. And he was like, yeah, you used to play centre mid, da da da. He used to play for South End, didn't it? Mm, I yeah, used to I play against him all the time and he was actually Swear. hard. So I can't even disrespect him because 
Man recognise me I'm after. I'm joking, innit, fam? <laughs> like, he, you know what I mean? Like, if you want to post me, post. You know? I don't, like, he won't remember my name, innit? But fucking yeah. hell, like, he remembered my face after all those years. And after he said that, I actually remembered him. He used to play on the wing. That's yeah, mad. No, and, it, uh, and it was, it's mad. Um, to remember you from Oxford. That bro, years, years that would have been. So, yeah. Nah, that's sick. And you know what? It shows he's still down to earth. Yeah, for real. Because, like, yeah. thinking about it now, He's not that he's like fucking Jay Z, but like mm. he's got a decent name for himself. Do you know Bro, what I mean? He just made mills, so I can't I disrespect mean? him too tough. Damn, but but um, shit, close to it. Listen, yeah, I respect him for getting mm. in the ring, but he didn't. He didn't do what he needed to do, and that's what that's what I'm saying. Yeah, say. and at least he knows it, innit? But that just got me thinking, like fucking you just saying that. Yeah, after what I just said, even though like it was all in joke, yeah. God forbid we ever make it to a place where we're actually just like known in it or like, you know what I mean? Or we oh, mean bro. something. And then you have to fucking pod without offending no one and that. Oh, mate, I don't know if we'll be able to do it. Fam, but we're going to have people look after us. All your tweets, <laughs> Fam. <laughs> Every single order to, to, to the day it was made. I'll actually have to delete my Twitter. I always think if I ever see Jake or something, I might have to just say, look, I'll be real with you, fam. I used to hate on you, Drake. Oh, <laughs> let I'll be real with you in it, like, cause I don't, I don't want like work with you, and then a couple of years from now they pull out the tweets in it, like, oh, bro, fam, I'm going like um, I'm going to this raw real mall thing when they come to November. I was thinking, fuck, you can't like go a bit to of a snake, mall. You can't, nah, nah, you can't go, you can't go, big bad thing. Listen, I'm going there for our uh, executive purposes. <laughs> you know what I mean? Where's that? <laughs> London. I said it in the fucking chat, bro. Oh, bro, I must have missed it. Live show. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, that's why I said I said in the chat. We should all fucking go if we can, innit? It's like the 5th of November. Because Mutt and Sherry are told me about it. Yeah. And obviously they're doing a live show, innit? So I want to fucking see how the fuck it just... How the fuck that looks yeah, on yeah. a big stage, you know what I mean? Yeah. And they're probably going to have some people performing and shit. Yeah. But yeah, I think it's 5th of November. It's like £33 or something like that. For anyone that doesn't know... Tabela is the biggest Joe Budden fan. So vicariously, he has to hate Rory yeah. and Mal. And now he's... So I just want to paint that picture. <laughs> you know what? Yeah, there was... Uh, Morton Show was like, we're thinking of getting VIP tickets. And I was like... I don't know, but what does that entail? <laughs> isn't it? Like, if I have to see these men, like... I feel like I have to keep it real, is it? Like, um, but yeah. But yeah, it just... Shit, let's not be sad. I, I wish we fucking make it and we get everything that's meant for us. But it's gonna be a hard world. And I'm saying to maneuver around that mm. shit. They're all a hundred percent. You see it. You see it with so many, like especially with footballers, because we live in in England. Mm-hmm. You see it with so many footballers, like they start making it big, and then they've got a tweet from seven years ago where they're like. Mm. Fuck Boris Johnson or like mm. something stupid, and bro, God forbid. <laughs> yeah, God forbid. Not God forbid because I hope it happens. But yeah. when it when it happens, I don't want to see half the tweets from Izab's account because I know it's gonna be <laughs> stupid. <laughs> <laughs> tweets. I'll, I'll, I'll listen. Uh, to those who don't know, Great. we obviously did a stand up comedy night the other day. <laughs> I was editing a Zarb's comedy like, nah, like, I'm normally on the, like, fuck it. I was there like, this might be it, motherfuckers, but we're going down together in this bitch, yo. Oh, my God. Oh, but anyway, oh, let me just say, it's all a joke, you know what I'm saying? Don't take it too seriously. That's if you're here after that video. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. But yeah, that'll be, do you feel that'll be out before this anyway, so. Oh, man. If you're still here, we appreciate you. And someone comment your favourite joke from Islam. I just, I just <laughs> want to see if someone's got the balls to type it. No chance. Oh, man. No chance. But anyway, we've been off for a while. Has anyone been through anything interesting while we've been off? Hell. Obviously, AJ just gave us uh, <laughs> an interesting story. What did you say? Hell. <laughs> Go on, explain. No, I'm joking. I've been... Co- oh, you man. Yeah. Last night at work, yeah? So mm-hmm. cool. Start work at like started work at six yesterday. First breaks at nine. So bare tired at nine. Go in there, go into our little rest area now, like lunchroom, sit down. Yeah. And like everyone I work with is a lot older than me. So like mm-hmm. they're in their like forties, fifties. Some are like older, whatever. 
and they're talking about like um like sitcoms like back in the day like not like yeah. oh, I remember like only fools and horses, but they they started talking about Hard. things older than that and like how things were said on TV then. Oh yeah, and like what can't be said now, and like they got into the discussion. I was just sat there just eating and yeah, yeah, not yeah. getting involved. And um, yeah, they were basically saying how like you could say things back then, you can't say them anymore, and how the world's changed and society blah blah blah. Yeah, have to be like politically correct. And then one guy comes out with. A guy I really like as well, isn't it? Like he's, like he's a, <laughs> oh, no. bro, he's a proper nice guy. His name's <laughs> yeah, never gonna watch this shit, bro. So I can say his name. Yeah, like yeah, he's yeah. a ledge guy, like proper nice guy, that like been uh. proper nice to me since I've been there. And he goes, um, he says it as he's walking out the room as well, isn't it? So I'm just sat there eating, like head down, they're just chatting away, whatever. And he goes, it's like when um, a black guy can say to another black guy, ah, oh, my. N word, boom, drops it, drops, it. bro, oh drops my it, and my God. eyes just lit, light up, and like I just look up like that, yeah. and then he leaves the room in it, and then he, and then the my <laughs> there, and then he starts saying shit, and he goes, oh like, yeah, like I don't understand if like if I say it like, oh, get out of our country, you N word, boom, drops it, like obviously I can understand oh that that's racism, God. but like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If I'm just saying it like, if I just go up to like a group of like a couple of them and like a mate of mine or whatever, and I'm just like, ah, oh, like you're right, my n word, boom, drops it again. Like I don't see like how oh, that's a problem. And I was like, I said, then I was I had to interrupt then it, so I had to yeah, say yeah, something. Yeah. And I was like, they don't say it like as a term of disrespect to each other when they say it. Mm. It's been changed to like, like a term of affection, like how you how you. That's what I think anyway. Mm -hmm, like mm -hmm. when you say it, that's what, what like my perception of it anyway. Yeah. And he's like, yeah, but like, I still don't really, I was like, that's what white people, that's what like, I'm not like, I said to him, minute, like I got yeah, a little yeah. bit heated. I was like, that's what like your people, mm -hmm. white people meaning would call them during slavery. So yeah. there's a fucking bang on reason why they don't want you to say that word. And then like, he's like, oh yeah, but like, you can't say anything these days. He's like one of them, it. Yeah, 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 but yeah. I didn't know none of this like about him. Like, didn't get none of the like vibes, signs, nothing. And bro, he got heat. I had to just be quiet, bro, because <sighs> fam, this was last night, bro. I was just sat there thinking, you're racist. Like, you're you're racist. Yeah. Listen, this is why you see an early comes to work, fam. I tell you the truth, and I know people dislike me for. I'll probably think I'm some antisocial prick. It would take me six months to have a conversation with you. Because I want to make out. sure that this is the... Com like, mm. you know what I mean? I ain't getting myself into some shit. Because it happens all the time. And listen, I was saying to my friend at work, not to see us out too early, I was saying to my friend at work, us black people, we have to prejudge people. It's bad to prejudge, but we have to prejudge. Because I have to know that w this, like our friendship or our getting to know each other is not going to go somewhere that it can't come back from. So when new people start at work, I make a decision. I'm like... No, you know what I'm saying, and there's this. Okay, I can't even get into the semantics of it. But there was someone at work who I basically said, "I ain't gonna even bother this person because I think this and that thing happened within a month, not to me, but someone else." And I said, "Yeah, that's why. That's why I don't do it." Have you ever got it wrong though? Have you ever thought, "Nope," as soon as you see him, and they turn out to be fucking? Yeah, nuts. yeah, definitely, definitely, of course. Um. But not of the big things. Mm. Like if I prejudge someone to like, I don't want to say racist, but like if I prejudge that you might offend me in like a racial way, I'm normally right, stuff like that. But obviously I've got things like wrong. Like I don't think he's cool. I don't, I don't think I want to get along. And then we do get along. Mm. That happens. But the serious stuff, I feel like I'm almost always right. You know what I'm saying? When you're around enough people, you get to just learn to judge mm. people. Right, going back to his arms thing, yeah. Mm-hmm. Just, just a quick thought, because this is what I do now, and if if I encounter any situations, mm -hmm. so hearing what Islam said, would you say the guy is outright racist? Yeah. I just dropped this oh, my one, of the, one of the dolls. Yeah, carry on. Would you say he's outright racist or just uneducated? Uneducated. I'd have to say uneducated, and I've yeah, I've had to learn to deal. Because I think it's it's uh -huh. two very yeah different things, and that yeah, but bro, like how are you uneducated? Yeah, how are you uneducated as a sixty-year-old man, bro? Like I get it, like times were different back then. Like when you 
when you're my age and that, but like to still think like, like I didn't think no type of way about this guy. Like he's been ledged to me since I've been there. The manager, like the manager as well. Mm -hmm. And obviously I'm not black in it. I'm not saying that I felt a type of way, but like I'm colored in it. And there's one black guy mm -hmm. that works in with me. Yeah. And he's like, uh, he's not an older gentleman. He's in his like thirties, whatever. Uh -huh. I was just thinking when that conversation was happening, I was just thinking this conversation is not happening if my man's in the room. Yeah, no chance. Like, you're not saying this if he stood here, or if he yeah. sat with, like, if he sat at the table. You're not, you're not having this conversation. Mm. Yeah, and and I understand, like you saying that. I see why you'd think, yeah, it is racist because they wouldn't have that. But bro, some people just don't fucking know, and I've had to learn that. Like, some people don't know. Like, I've had someone who's like older than me calm person as well and he didn't say in a racist way which is what i appreciated and i liked him and i think it made me come to a conclusion yeah sometimes being biased is always looked at in a bad way but i think being biased helps because if i'm biased to calvin and calvin says something that's crazy it gives me an extra second to think of a different way to interpret what he says a different way and i think that's where being biased helps you know what i'm saying it like opens another door to understanding. And because I liked him, I had to look at it in a different way. And he didn't say in a racist or anything. He just literally asked me like, yo, like, what's the difference or what's wrong if I say it listening to a song? Like he listened to like um, hip hop. I don't want to say black music, but he listened to hip hop. And obviously a lot of hip hop, you're going to hear the N word. And he was like, can I say it when I hear it in a song? And of course I could have took the point of like, you being stupid. Why do you even have to fucking ask me that? <laughs> but like, yeah, if someone grew up from the age of 15 listening to fucking Snoop Dogg, for example, and he loves everything about Snoop Dogg and he knows all the songs. And I'm saying I could understand why he just thinks like, shit, I'm just singing a fucking song. You know what I mean? So, yeah, like I think us as black people, colored people, whoever, we have to be a little bit more understanding as well because you're going to. You're going to know when someone's being outright racist and it's just hatred. Mm, so yeah, that yeah, part yeah. you just know. So as long as it ain't that, then let's just take a second to just, you know what I mean? Because unfortunately, ever being like being aggressive to an aggressor is never going to work. So, yeah. Yeah. Um, can I just say something on mm. the note of um, colored and uncolored people? Yeah. A uh, quick segue because you guys have probably made everyone cry. Oh no, I made it too serious. Man. <laughs> so, um, <laughs> me and my friend, yeah, Mr. Joshma, which many of you know, I am throwing him under the bus. We're still waiting for him to come. But he yeah. was actually going to come tonight, but it was late. Um, okay, I'm to Go on. We was having a conversation as you do, talking about music. Josh has some very, very questionable music takes, <laughs> and yesterday. He so called out him. Go on, carry he on. revealed another one, possibly his most questionable music take. Can't remember what we had on in the car, but we had some artist on. No, I had an old school R and B playlist on it because Josh played his playlist the other day. Questionable if it was old school because he's playing like <laughs> he's playing like Kanye West, My Beautiful Dark Twisted Fantasy, and calling it old school, like bro, and like <laughs> and like scissor songs from fucking twenty thirteen. It's not old nah, school, edit, but old school, yeah, I'm bro. letting it slide because anyway. So now I've got mine on. I've mm. got a shanty. I've got a. I've got a shanty. <laughs> <laughs> I've got. I've just I've got I've got a few people playing oh, it. I've got a few yeah. people playing, and a Lauren Hill song comes on, and I'm like, yeah, I'm in my bag now. This is my go edit, like mm. this big Miss Lauren Hill edit, like you can't go wrong. You can't, you go, can't wrong. go wrong. Yeah. And he looks at me and he says, after AB after AB Whitehouse comes Lauren Hill. I said what? I look back. I said yeah, what? Yeah, I said, yeah, I, said yeah, I said Josh, don't yeah. say that. I said, listen, I've known you for a long time now, edit. I don't want to fall out over this. Don't be silly now, edit. He said, nah, like, now he's looking at me serious. He's like, nah, like, Amy Winehouse, back to black. Like, after Amy oh. Winehouse comes Lauren Hill. I'm like, yeah, back to black. But the miseducation of Lauren Hill, that's that's a top 15 album ever, you know, all genres. So I, I put the tweet on. I put the tweet on Twitter, as you do. Mm -hmm. And I put the tweet then on Insta. I get a vote. It's 65% Kanye, 
but 65% Lauren Hill, mm-hmm. 35% Amy Winehouse. And this is where we get back to the color situation. Not to say it's a color thing, innit? Yeah. Because it's not a color thing. Ooh. But can I just say there was only three people of color that voted for Amy Winehouse. One was Josh. Mm-hmm. One was Izzab. <laughs> and one was Rab. <laughs> the rest. <laughs> like, what? Like. Is um, I need I need because listen as you know probably from the way I've said this my vote goes with Lauren Hill, Lauren Hill did win the Instagram vote. I just want to know what what you was thinking you you guys is um, Josh crowd or the people that vote for Amy Winehouse is um, please represent that demographic. Is Izzam um, coming in? Yeah, guys. Is he coming in to talk? Yeah, yeah bro. bro. Who the fuck voted Amy Winehouse, bro? It's always been Lauren Hill. I must have been half asleep and pressed the wrong button, bro. Even your sister messaged me like, I know that was Izzab who said that. That's how yeah, that's how much of a big Amy Winehouse fan. Like, I can under- you made the good comparison in the car when, on the way here. Mm-hmm. Like, it's to football. So, like, Messi and Ronaldo, like, it's close, but it's not close sort of thing. No, I didn't say that. I said it's close, but it's clear. Okay, it's, it's close, but it's clear. Do you know, like, that, like... KD and LeBron are close, but it's still clear that like LeBron is better. Like, no, huh? nah, but do you know what I mean? Nah, like, nah, I get you, I get you, I get you. It, it, it's get close, you. but it's still clearly who. It's clear who's better at it. Yeah, and that's just what how I feel about the Amy Winehouse, Lauren Hill. I think mine just fell to preference out of the two. Listen, Amy Winehouse is fucking hard as well, bruv. Don't even get it twisted. Like I have a, I have to have a clean work playlist. Well, my manager's not in, but I have to have a clean work playlist. Yeah, and Amy Winehouse is in there, in it along with um James Blunt. But we'll talk about Hard. that later. One of the coldest white Hard. men to ever do it. <laughs> God <laughs> damn! I'm not gonna lie. Sorry, I don't want to get off track. I'm gonna get back to what I just said. James Blunt back to battle battle him. Is better than a lot of great hip hop albums. I ain't gonna hold you. It's a, it is a great album, fam. It is a great album. You might be overreaching the butt, but it is a great nah, album. Nah, AJ, there's. It's one of the only, not the only, probably in the top ten albums. That I know I like every single song in the album. Mm. Every single song I can sing to you, I like it, and it's just <laughs> yo. <laughs> that uh, anyway, but. As sick as Amy Winehouse is, and she's fucking cold, bro. Lauren Hill is a different beast. Oh, like she, nah, she's too cold. Bro. And then, like, we can also start getting <clears throat> into what else can you do? She has a whole live album, and to me, it's questionably better than the Miseducation. And I love the Miseducation. The live album is better, but more Fam. people know the miseducation. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? So live I, album is better, and she can fucking rap, bro. Like she can rap with the best of them, like men. You know what I mean? Like her range is too wide. The roots, like her, nah, her thing is just different, isn't it? Ah, uh, bro. And she didn't rely on drugs on that. You know what I'm saying? Don't do that. Don't do that. <laughs> Don't, do that. Don't, do that. Don't do that. We're not doing that. Don't do that, <laughs> bro. I even had people replying to my story. One boy yeah. that. That always fucking, you know, when I was saying the boy that I was speaking to about music, when we were saying about who who does R and B better, yeah, the female no, you were talking about, yeah. He he loves music, and he even replied said, uh, replied said, lol, and I said, imagine when he said that I thought of you. He replied said, you know that one that will trigger my head. My head is hot. <laughs> <laughs> he said, whoever voted Amy Winehouse has no melanin in their skin. I said, brother. Yeah. <sighs> now nah, we gotta have him one one day, bro. Oh, bro music he episode, loves music. Yeah, he loves music, one. boy. Uh, and he's got good. He got a lot good of people taste, love though. music, but he's got sick yeah, nah, he, taste. You know what I'm really saying? Throwing it back. He just had a kid, ain't it? And he played R and B full baby on his lap. R and B full wow. plays. I'm thinking his kid gonna grow up correct, bro. That's what I'm gonna do, bro. Mothers, that's that's all I'm doing. But anyway. Since we've been off out of question as well, is um, yep. like I was saying, I was taking notes of every thought that was coming into my head. You know, the other day I'm coming back from work. Sometimes have it gets me in it, so I always drive. It's always the same route. You man go through that route as well a couple of times. And I was walking past in it, and like I have whole the whole Banbury. There's 
not just one community, but there's one place that just looks so well kept and it's just so like nice and that. I, I we drove past the mosque in it, and I related <laughs> it. <laughs> Why are you this guy love my thing is serious now, nah, but bro, we drove past the mosque here, yeah, and cause I'm Christian. See when you're Christian, when you're Christian. You know how they build the churches? Donations. That's how you make things. And I was like, because I don't know. This might be a simple answer. How, who builds the mosque? What, like, where's the funding for a mosque? How does that come about? Is it the same thing? Like donations or what is it? Fraud. I see. No, I'm joking. Hon- honestly, I couldn't tell you. Really? I generally don't. I do know there's bad shit that goes on in mosques though, like dodgy shit. Swear. Yeah, hundred percent. Like, yeah, like don't like they'll ask you to donate to something that you just know full well. Oh, so you donate as well in mosques? Yeah, but like it's it'll be to like so like when I the last time I oh, fucking hell, I can't even remember, like I feel, the last time I was in a mosque. The last time, <laughs> um, uh, my last lifetime, bro. That's what I is. Yeah, like, honestly, it was years ago. Yeah, last time I was there, we must have been. It must have been on E then it's a go to pray. Like my mum's like paid me twenty pounds to go do Eid prayer. <laughs> so I've gone in it. Yeah. So I've gone in my this was year that must have been fucking hell, like eighteen, nineteen. Whenever it was anyway. Sat there now. And yeah. like Donnie at the front is like just like preaching, in it? And he's like, Ah oh, like I'm ill and like I need to have a surgery, like can we have like basically saying like can we have like a whip around like Mm. Do what you can. can we said the collection plate, brother. Bucket, not plate. Bucket. <laughs> bro, like a, an Asian GoFundMe. You know that shit. And never going to where it says it's going. And he's like, yeah, like, I'm ill. Like I need to have like a surgery, like a surgery, whatever. And people just go around with the bucket and like, you put in what you can in it. You ain't got to put in shit, but like whatever yeah. you like. My dad put in money, whatever. I was just thinking, brother. We have the NHS. Surgery's free. Surgery's <laughs> free, bro. Bro, I did not even think about oh that. My what surgery God. are you having that you that we need to pay? And I was thinking, like, bro, there's nothing wrong with you, bro. <laughs> like, you have just raised. Like, say, there's about there's probably about obviously that's a busiest day in a mosque, isn't it? Like, yeah. everyone goes to eat prayer. Oh, he's like, smart, smart. Like, it is fucking bro, rammed you see in there. What I mean, I would have donated. I wouldn't even deep that NHS thing. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that. I thought that's straight. I didn't donate shit. My dad it might be going private. If I ain't going private, bruv. That's no, a liberty wait. if he is. I said, nah, buddy, NHS. Hey, yeah, NHS you got you a long got, wait line, bro. You can that year and a half. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, but there's bare of that, like, money, like, going in that's not going there. And, like, it'll be like, oh, yeah, like, things back in Pakistan are, like, going to shit. Like, we're going to go support them, but you just know that money and never touching that country, bro. That's interesting, though, because I, yeah, I didn't know if it was the same for every religion, like the whole donation scheme. But yeah, I don't you know, know what I'm saying? I don't know where the money would go to build one. Obviously, this isn't a Muslim country, and it's a Muslim countries. It'd be different. It'd be government funded, probably. Uh, yeah, of so course. Like, yeah, Pakistan yeah, yeah. would be the government would fund the buildings of the mosques. Mm-hmm. Like UAE, all the fucking Muslim countries. Yeah. Like, they're main Muslim countries, isn't it? But obviously, this isn't. So I, I'm not too sure. Yeah, bro. Because, bro, like, I was driving. The t- the thing has like green lights. Like it's yeah, no, it's, it's top some, of the eye. You know what I'm saying? Like, like it's in the one on the Marston Road. That's yeah. mad. Like oh the, yeah, I've seen that. The beautiful, like cold. the structure of the of the buildings. Beautiful. Like, yeah, it's beautiful. Marble. That's what everywhere. I'm saying. Like, and that took years to build as well. But like, yeah, like I don't know who funds that. They stopped for like two years. Yeah, it they stopped. Didn't yeah, have, they didn't yeah. have enough marble. Yeah. Imagine that. Is that actually yeah. what it was? Yeah, they, didn't, they didn't have enough marble, yeah. Fucking hell. Because it was some special marble. <sighs> Bro, oh. I hate to see us out, but why the fuck, yeah? No offense to him. Why do we need a marble fucking floor if nah, we're just trying to, to be, pray to God? It's To be fair, the marble thing might be a stretch. And forgive me if I'm wrong, Sam. You probably yeah. correct me. But I swear, it's, it's not obviously saying you have to have marble, but like, there's something where it has to be of a certain standard in the mosque, no? Yeah, no, nah, that is true, yeah. Like, you like don't get me wrong. There's been there's some mosques mm-hmm. that aren't like they're just mosques. Yeah, yeah. Like it will be just like what they can do. Yeah. But so, if they're building a proper mosque, they will try and I don't know why the reason I don't I couldn't tell you, but yeah, the best like the nicest mosques in the world. They're like the best you can get. Like yeah. the quality of everything. 
See, I always try and simplify things, especially when it comes to religion. I'm like, I'll just ask you, man. If if God does exist, I believe He does. Do you think He's gonna look down on us and say that the house that you worship me in has to be of a good standard? No, you no. know what I mean. I'm just no. some things. He, I'm like, I don't think He does, but I think that's a human thing. Do you know what I mean? Okay, like, if it's human, as long as it's not. Not just made to a be. standard of like the religion in the Bible is like yo it has to be yeah no then I, I yeah so. then I get that like I don't you don't think of the poverty like yeah that's what I'm saying the countries that are just in mad poverty that haven't got the haven't got the funds to build a mosque like like the one on Marston uh, yeah. Marston Road wherever it, wherever it is like in my head God's looking at uh, someone in one of them countries yeah. praying in a beat down shanty. And probably thinking, yeah, I respect that more than yeah, God, yeah. Then going to the going to the putting up in his X five, yeah, yeah. Because you go to the village, like there's people praying yeah. everywhere. You know what I'm saying? They're just praying. Yeah, I see people they pray can. in the streets. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Well, I do respect it though. Yeah, of course. you have to. I do respect it. Muslims yeah, keep their thing it. to the highest standard still. <clears throat> like there's no Definitely. there's no higgy hagger in that religion. You know, like Christianity let higgy hagger seep in. Muslims said, nah, nah, nah. Now you know what I thought the other day. This is gonna be my joke. <laughs> What, wait, what was going to be your joke? <laughs> what was going to be my stand up? I was thinking, yeah. I was going to say, like, you know why? Um, be careful. Um, no, no, chill. We can take this out. This is a joke, guys. But I was going to say, you know, you know is it about why? fucking kids? Huh? Is it no, 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 no. It's about religion. What we talk about. I was going to say, you know why, like, um, the Middle East gets bombed so much by Western countries? Chill, chill it. I was about to say Because these men are from Jerusalem Which is in Christianity And they went to Muhammad from <laughs> The rest of them said Cool in it Yeah Stay that side from <laughs> Oh my god You know what yeah, Bro, yeah. You know what Like A couple of days later I uh, thought about Your fucking You know the joke Where you said about uh, Bears in the wild Yeah yeah And anyway Talking about women Yeah I thought about it like a week after you said it, and I was just stood laughing to myself. Like, bro, that was actually a funny joke, and it like, bro, I thought that was so funny, bro. bro that mate. was a good joke. Like, if, if Dave Chappelle said that, I bursted out bro, laughing, bursted tears. And I think that's where I went wrong, innit? In my head, that's I was seeing Bill Burr, so I was giving <laughs> it that type of delivery, that type of story, like. But they got pace from some man like that because he's done it for years. Oh, you know what I'm bro. saying? Like, I was on my own. Mm. No one was around me. I yeah. can't remember what I was doing, but I was just laughing, like. <laughs> 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 oh, brother. Yeah, I thought that was shit. How nerve-wracking was that, by the way? <sighs> Listen, I'm not going to lie to you, man. I feel like I can do a lot of things, innit? That was a humbling experience. Before I even said a word, mm. I was like, yo, these are just my friends, innit? People I know... <laughs> But this is scary as oh, shit. Yeah, I, I don't know how you man fuck. done that. Brother, and you know what it was? I, f- I don't know what you say, but I figure out yet why it was scary is because we do podcasts. And so in my head, I was like, oh, we got that. We've been doing this for a while now. We do this when these people here. Like, it's cool, isn't it? It's because... It's a, it's a relationship between you and the crowd and you need them to give you something back yeah. to move on to their next joke. Yeah. That's what it was. You know what I'm saying? That's why I was like, holy shit. I mean, at first, obviously, it was like the fucking lights. I couldn't see no one. Lights oh, was on mate, us. How mad is it? Mate, we, had, Fuck like, we ain't yeah. got the biggest production. Don't get me wrong. Like, <laughs> <laughs> when, like, now I know when comedians, like the big comedians, when they say, like, when the lights are on, I can't see shit. Like, Two feet ahead nothing, of me, bro. I was thinking like, bro, you got sixty thousand people in front mm. of you. How can you not? <clears throat> there was two little ring lights in front of me <laughs> in Calvin's restaurant. And I'm thinking, bro, where is it? And bro, you know what I want to say? You know that split? There was a split second that, like, when my joke started. Yeah, I knew they were bad from the start, and it like, cause I told you, man, I'm going in. Yeah. The I think the first or second joke, one of the jokes. Yeah, there was like a a little second where the laugh hadn't hit yet. <laughs> <laughs> bro that second where I thought oh bro. my god these man think is fucking dead <laughs> oh, bro, brother, and then brother. when you hear the laugh you're like alright cool oh, boom next joke 
fam, it was scary, bruv. You see, at least yours were one set, even though the one sentences, yeah, it was a clear finish. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. My yeah. ones, like, the punch was. I want it to be so natural that the punch was like, I think people are still like, wait, is that, is yeah, that yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, is yeah, that, yeah. Is that the one there? Because I wanted it to be like spontaneous. Mm. Like, yeah, anyway, talk about women. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. You're, I was saying on the day, your, your yeah. delivery was like a proper comedian's delivery of how they yeah, tell 100%. a story, then go to yeah. a punch. Like the way you were doing it, that's how a proper, com- a proper comedian would do it. If we merged ours, I think that's, that's what would have been fucking cold do you know who yours was like sam um jimmy carr not jimmy carr who's the short white english one that used to do comedy he he was massive at one oh, point oh lee evans lee evans yeah that's what that your sweats. thing were like yeah, yeah. that's yeah, what your does, thing was like that one. bro the one that, bro it's like puddles of sweat bro he's got like a problem oh uh, they're like he done super stadium, hyper yeah he done stadium yeah 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 yeah, 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 yeah. No, 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 he stadium was big bro he was funny big. to he done like wembley saw that wembley bear yeah he was big. Him and Michael McIntyre back in the day, innit? Yeah, yeah. They yeah, were the yeah. two big ones. And fucking the Don you like Jimmy Jimmy Carr. Yeah, he's fucking funny, man. Yeah. Um anyway, to get us back to the topic, just to finish it off, yeah, that little <laughs> mini topic. I was gonna say as well, do you man consider it um moral? That's probably a wrong word, so just put a word that fits in your head. Moral to sell any t-shirts just going off what i asked any any like t-shirts or it could be candles it could be whatever that have a religious theme like a cross and shit like that oh do we consider do it immoral it, it, do you, yeah do you consider it immoral to sell to basically sell religion to make money off religion especially if you're religious i think it depends what way like this is going to be a big if I think it depends what way you're doing it. And I say that to say like, Mm -hmm. say if you've got a t-shirt with a cross on it Mm -hmm. and you're selling it as a religious t-shirt, I think that's wrong. If you're not, if like that is not what you truly believe in and like you stand by. Whereas say if like, for example, obviously Chrome Hearts is probably the biggest. Their, Mm. their, Their logo is a cross in it, but they're not doing it as a religious cross they're literally doing it as like a fashion cross Mm. so i think that is acceptable but there's like there's probably a a bit of a gray area where that leaves it up to perception do you know what i mean yeah yeah, but that would be um that would be my view on it i don't know i don't know about you guys what do you do think i agree with aj i think that's spot if you're if there's a t-shirt and you're like oh you're a christian buy this t-shirt this will make this shows that you're a christian then i think that's like if you're just promoting it as like Christianity t-shirt, mm. that's yeah. wrong. But like he said, what's the brand? Is Chrome that Heart. is that the one with the jeans? Do yeah, the yeah, jeans? they do. Yeah, the them, jeans, yeah. yeah. If it's just part of the fashion brand and that's just the brand, yeah. and you're selling that, then I don't think that I don't think there's an issue. But if it's the other way, or if it's the other way, then yeah, I see a problem with it. Okay, Calvin, do you agree? I, I don't know. I don't think so. Well, you think it's immoral either way? Because they're saying it's only immoral if it's just, just for religion. But if it's like a religious cross, but it's like fucking Balenciaga and they're actually selling the brand of Balenciaga. There. But you see, like, for example, like that, what you just said about the Balenciaga thing. Yeah. Like there's times where I've seen like yeah, uh, Balenciaga, like Balenciaga have like, t-shirts with like with like fashion not fashionable jesus but like jesus prince and like mm. i don't think it's a moral yeah but there's something about it that i think is like weird mm. like i wouldn't buy it and i like i don't like it i don't know why yeah. but there's well i do know why because it's something that i kind of not kind of something i hold in a higher regard so i just feel like it's not needed to sell clothes, you know what I mean? But yeah, it's each it is each their own. But there's something weird about it. I think that was a good example, though. So I, I don't know if you meant it as an example, but yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought um, you were saying you just want to keep that purity of yeah, like it's a bit weird. Itself. Like yeah, I was 
while you were talking about that, I was mm-hmm. just looking at that picture for some reason. Yeah. I was <laughs> oh, thinking shit. like, I yeah, didn't like that. Like, I, didn't I know it's not about bro. religion. Uh huh. It's about like I don't even know who it is. It's obviously. Oh, so like, shit, album, yeah. yeah. So it's like. Yo, I'm trying to put it into the context of would you if 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 the guy was selling that and it, mm. it's not religion based, but yeah, <laughs> like it's got a two, it got crosses on it, got yeah. damn near got fucking yeah, yeah, that's someone true. actually staked on the cross. You know what I mean? Yeah, now nah, you right, you really right. So I I, I don't know. Even man. though he's not, I get what you mean. And for me, I think as well. Now that you say that, even though he's not selling. He's not selling that because that's probably a representation of like the house he grew up in or some yeah. shit like that. But at the same time, if I was looking from a purely religious standpoint, I could see why someone would say like, "What's the need to yeah. even put that on something you're selling or something that's just like you, it's not just it, praising yeah. the Lord?" You, you know what I mean? Mm. Yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying. And it's like he's probably gonna be speaking about it negatively anyway, but. Yeah, you bring up a good point. That Shit. last minute of conversation for the viewers meant mm. absolutely nothing because they can't see the fucking photo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can, man. <laughs> like, oh, for the viewers. <laughs> oh, yeah, show them, show them, show them. It's our sweatshirt of crosses on either side. It's even at the back as well. And I think, yeah, he was raised in a quite strict family, so I'm guessing it's to the, yeah. Yeah, there's probably a reason behind it, but um, just taking the sole mm-hmm. purpose of that, yeah, that whole time you man were talking, I thought you were talking about the one on the right. And honestly, what's wrong with you? Bro? Bro? No, no, it. I was thinking, where's the, like my eyes are bad, but where's the cross? That's just a, and then I looked to the left, I saw a cross. I thought, oh shit, that's what they're talking about. <laughs> Fuck it out. Anyway, anyone else um, take notes of anything interesting while they were off? I got one. I don't know if we, if you man want to touch on it. Go like, on. It's, no, go it's on. a big thing that's happened. Mm. I don't want to talk about the person. But like it's like the thing around it. Obviously, someone has blown up on the internet this year massively and is viral daily, weekly. Mm-hmm. Top G himself. Ah, oh, Top G been Top G Andrew Tate. Top G been black. Oh, like him, love him or hate him, whatever. But I never even got to explore him. But carry on. He's like little quick background. He's known to be a f- like he's got misogynist. Some, yeah, ladies, I'm on your side. Some fucking <laughs> mental <laughs> takes on <laughs> <and> stuff. <laughs> so, <laughs> I am Josie Mourinho. Um, yeah. Mental takes about things, then it like mm. he says, like, Oh, if his girl had only fans, she has to give him all the money, blah, blah. Like, just that's just one of the things, then it like. Mm. And basically, he got Donald Trump. Ta- mm. He got Wiley'd, mm. taken off everything. The bro. Internet. And like, it's a conversation that people like. People were saying that even they despise him as a person he is, he hasn't actually done anything to like make it, enough. yeah, like freedom of speech or whatever. But like he weren't promoting nothing. Like, like with D- Donald Trump when he got taken off, he was sort of like condoning like violence and it. Like yeah, that's yeah, why yeah. he sort Inciting of inciting violence. Yeah. yeah, I do go on some actually. Let me let you. And but that's what that's what I was basically saying. Like what what do you? AJ will know because obviously you, you probably won't know as much. I know terms. a little bit, but yeah, I'll let AJ. He go got first. taken off everything, and it was just like people were saying, even people that despise him as a human being said that it's not right that he's been taken off all platforms. Yeah. So first and foremost, I I just want to say I do think it is a stretch. Do you know what I mean? To take yeah. someone off of all platforms like mm-hmm. YouTube, Twitter, TikTok, Facebook, Insta, everything he's gone in it. I do think it's a stretch, but all I'm going to say in terms of what you said, Sam, so like me and Josh were having this conversation, like the Donald Trump situation, like he was, he was inciting violence. Like, mm. so I understand. And with the, the, the Andrew Tate one, I think it's a bit of a techie one because some of the stuff he was saying, like you've got, the way I look, look looked at it is he grew to a, a, a stature where he was at one point the most searched person on the internet. Like, that's a fact. Like, mm. he was the most watched, most searched, most Googled, everything on the internet. And some of the stuff he was saying, especially towards, like, women, he, was, he wasn't he was inciting violence, but, like, it's like we said, if we ever got big enough where we actually have an impact on people, unfor- fortunately or unfortunately, you have to be careful. And, like, we've spoke about this and kind of disagreed on this in the past. 
but it, it gets to a point where you have to be careful about what you say. So when you're saying stuff like women can't do this, women can't like can't do that, can't do this. There shouldn't be women in the military. Um, like women shouldn't make more than men. There's like a video where there's like a march in London, and he's like, "Ah, oh, why are they marching about Palestine?" Like when you start saying stuff like that, rightly or wrongly, like you begin to influence people. You might not mean to, but you do begin to influence people. So it's like, mm -hmm. you have to be careful. And I'm not saying he's right or wrong. I'm saying yeah, yeah, you yeah. have to be careful. So part of me does understand it. Although I think it's wrong. Like, I don't think anyone should be blackboard. Like, I do believe in freedom of speech. But then in in the world we live in now, there has to be some common sense. Like, he's not, an, he's a very smart man. That's how he's made it to where he is. So it's like, bro, come on. Like, you must know that you can't say all of this stuff and think there's genuinely going to be no repercussion. Mm. That's my that, like. That's my point on the Donald Trump thing, anyway. Yeah. yeah before no, I actually I get, get into that. what I genuinely think of him, I do get what you're saying there. Um, my thing is, I would like to know why he actually got banned in it because I do know that there was some like, don't know how true it is, but I do know there was some like um, rape accusations. Oh, I didn't. I didn't hear about. So that. I don't think it was rape. I think it was uh, hitting, like hitting women. Ah, right, something. Oh, no, no, no. I actually saw a video on this. It's about his girl. Oh, really? But then the girl yeah, came yeah, out, yeah, didn't yeah, she? She came out. She came out straight awful. after and she said it's like, not fake. Yeah. Is it, well, it's not fake, uh -huh. but she she likes that stuff. Like when they. Oh, oh yeah, it was role, yeah. See. So a video come out of him being yeah, like yeah. mad aggressive. Yeah, yeah. And then she come out and said, "No, no, it's all consented." Like, yeah. It's that so. I think that was like out like a few days ago. Yeah, that's yeah. all been cleared up. But. Okay, cool. Um, yeah, like if that's the if he's being removed just purely of what he said, like I'm gonna keep the same stance. I just don't think you should. You know what I'm saying? I just don't think that's the way you want to handle someone who's quote unquote saying the wrong things. Because I just think yeah, there's there's good and bad. You cannot, there should not be anyone who chooses what goes through, what's allowed. In terms of if I'm just saying, someone just saying something. You know what I'm saying? Because it's like, so we're okay with everyone blowing up as long as they're promoting good messages or they benefit us in some way. So that's why I don't agree with it. And I think like, if as a, as a society, we choose to just blackboard all the people who say bad things or do bad things then i feel like somehow some way there's gonna be like a big community of just negative people that's just welling up and getting bigger and bigger and somehow someone's gonna bite us in the bum you know what i'm saying in the ass so i feel like listen bro people are gonna be good people are gonna be bad they're gonna say bad stuff they're gonna say good stuff he wasn't gonna blow forever he had a peak but it was probably gonna decrease and go to shit anyway because really and truly people mostly watch them to find out what they're all that what's everyone talking about who's this fucking andrew tate guy mm. it would have died down eventually because people are not into the shit he's saying like you can pretend maybe for a couple of weeks but you're, you're not nah, about that i mm. can't lie tabs a lot of people are feeling him i do agree really? with you it would have died down eventually uh -huh. but bro like nah, he's got the if you watch one of his like videos where he's not like obviously talking wrong shit mm -hmm. but like well he's just like he is he, is entertaining because he's like he's just walking the streets of london he's like oh i'm gonna just get this bugatti and he just walks in yeah. ties it yeah. but, but like it's just stuff you don't really he like he had a cult like, following yeah. still yeah, he mm. he's he like and bro like like for example obviously i spend a lot of time with josh and ben mm. Uh, people like I'm not saying they agree with everything he says, Eddie. But people, <laughs> people, and uh, you got to look at it like this as well. Or this is the way I looked at it. Like, yeah, say you're 16, 17, 18, or this this might sound horrible. Or you're like 23, 24, but and you're not really anywhere in on it, like anywhere in the journey of life. Like obviously, mm -hmm. you're, you're you do whatever you want to do, but you're not anywhere in the what what many people see people consider the journey of life. Like someone like him. You start hearing him and you see like, oh, he's got this, he's got that. He looks successful. He acts successful. People admire him. And you, you people start to 
believe like look up to him believe like mm. people start to live by his messages do you know what i mean and people be like yeah everything he says that's right like and it's just it's cr- it's crazy like i don't know if his thing would have died like really died i mm. think his thing would have his I, thing would have yeah life. had more shelf life than mo- the most like, mm. yeah, the, do you hear about his um he had like some program thing, yeah. Yeah, he had a Hustlers University. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what it's called. Apparently, like, do you know how he blew up? Is because of that. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. People yeah, were just like that. people were signing up. You sign up and you just share his. Yeah, stuff. you sign up to it, and if you share his stuff, you get like discount on it or something. I so people were cool. like mm. signing up, then sharing it to get it cheaper. So it was a pyramid scheme, isn't it? Like, mm. and it was just getting bigger and bigger. Bro, he was, had no like everyone that's watched his stuff has never come from his account. Bro, it was yeah, people Every, just make accounts yeah. to post his yeah. it was so big tabs. I was even gonna say mm. that we need to <laughs> have a dead ass, I was gonna say yeah, yeah. we need to have a video where we just go on TikTok, I'll scroll, we find the Andrew Tate video, we listen to it, and let's just talk about it. Cause bro, like me and mm. Josh would have like 45 minute conversations. About yeah. shit that he said, like it got that deep. I ain't seen one like he's saying, it. he's saying women shouldn't be in the military. And me, me and Josh will scroll through TikTok. A video comes up. Andrew Tate, wouldn't women shouldn't be in the military? We we close the phone. Cool. What do we think? And we're having a twenty minute conversation about it. Or yeah. you have like another video where we had a long conversation. He's saying, if I have a big problem in life, I'm not going to a female. Shut the phone off. Boom. Let's talk about it. See, to me, I'm like, that conversation is good. That's like the conversation. You don't have to agree or disagree. The conversation is good. The conversation is great. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, the conversation it's is great. It's good to talk about these things. All we need is someone to force us to talk about certain topics. Because like, yeah, like he might, whatever he said, let's say about women being, in, women being in the military, he might have said it in some just like dumb way yeah. like you know what i'm saying just i'm i'm sure he probably said men are stronger blah 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 yeah, blah, yeah. blah but to us normal humans we might have that conversation and i'll probably disagree with you but then i'll say for a different reason cuz i'll just say listen women in the military are like one of the most abused women like mm. in the whole world you know what i'm saying so like it creates conversation and like as long as you're not a fucking follower it's it's for the good you know what I mean? Yeah. So I just think, yo, bro, like. That was my biggest problem. Until he me. breaks the law. Unfortunately, listen, we've set laws. You know what I'm saying? If you don't want to create a new law, cool, whatever. But we've set laws. And if he ain't breaking the law, he does not deserve to be taken of nothing. Obviously, like. Don't you feel like. These apps have owners and they can do whatever the fuck they want. Do you not feel like it's like a. Mm-hmm. To me, it feels like the first. twenty. First century, like sensitive, mm. like case. You know what I mean? <coughs> yeah, yeah, everything. Yeah, like you mean. can't say nothing anymore. You can't like you got. Everyone's got to watch what they say. Mm. Yeah, he's the first person to well, really he's just suffer. The first, yeah, it. yeah. He's the he's, he's the first person to catch catch well. Catch, to be fair, no, he's not the first. He's he's the biggest. Yeah, he's the biggest. He's not the first. And that's A why few others. Wiley, Wiley, Corner. Wiley. Yeah, a little okay. bit. And that's why I think yeah. As a, I was about to say, as a creative. But Wiley was uh-huh. actually like... He was yeah, he big was saying, before, though. Like, Wiley was obviously fucking world world famous, you could say. No, you say no, no, world not world famous. Not world oh, okay. famous. Was, what are you about yeah. to say? He was actually saying some... He, he was, was like, yeah. He was He was actually anti... Was it anti-Semitic? anti-Semitic. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah I know but you're going to say Andrew, that. Okay, he's mis- misogynistic. Misogynistic, yeah. But... Oh, that, I don't much. know if you say misogynistic, but... I but think you word that a little different. <laughs> I would say that's as far as his his. Yeah, I know what goes. you're trying to say. Is yeah, it, uh, offending people, or mostly women. Yeah, that's a big thing, though. Yeah, you know? I know it's a huge but, thing, but I think. Mm-hmm. Oh, the butt. <sighs> you know what? I'm I'm with him. Yeah, and I know we shouldn't obviously we shouldn't say but after like certain statements, but. <laughs> but fucking, I should came out naturally as hair. <laughs> However. I think with stuff like that, it shouldn't be about right or wrong. We as creators and as just humans, like, that should scare us. You know what I mean? 
that should scare us that no matter what you say like in the future it probably was gonna get worse mm. then we're gonna be in a space where we can't say nothing that's like super opinionated or super right or left i do think though you see like with him mm-hmm. like with the example you made yeah if say i'm andrew Tate and i say men are stronger men are faster men are braver women shouldn't be in the military that is wrong not because what i've said but mainly because how i've said it whereas you say Mm -hmm. ah if women are in the military there's been studies shown that they get abused they get mistreated there's like the biggest problem i had and i feel like a lot of people had with him Mm -hmm. is not what he said it's more how he said it do you know what i mean yeah which was the problem because i agree with you it's bad isn't it like you shouldn't be blackboard for having an opinion yeah but there's a fine line and as well, bro, I, I, there's some things, yeah, like we've been alive for how fucking long. We need to accept, you know what I'm saying? Like, listen, listen, it is it is proven that, yes, women are, when it comes to physicality, women are weaker and women, more than even that, women just have more compassion. And because of that compassion and because of that, the will to be caring, being in the army normally for the average woman it does not suit you know what i'm saying yeah. it does not translate just because how men and women are just naturally you know what i mean average of course there's always anomaly uh, anomalies but like some conversation we need to just like yeah, like come on bruv we know what the fuck he means innit? it he might be saying it in some fucking dumb way but like it's just we're just so super sensitive and as well, from what Kevin was saying, there's um I even see today by some chance, I mean I'm gonna talk about this, but they were comparing there's another woman who's like an Andrew Tate, but on the other side, and she's just being fucking championed like hell. And it was just showing like we double tend, double double standard. Yeah, we tend to want to protect the people we we think are weaker. And that's why I think it's uh sometimes and stuff like this where it's like we come to the protection of women just because they're women it's kind of like a it's a backhanded compliment compliment because yeah, it's like that. i'm only protecting you because i think you are weaker so really and truly like i'm am i actually helping you? yeah you know what i mean it's like i do think he was champion though to an extent like you don't get that big without being champion mm. what's worse mm-hmm Uh, discriminate religion or discriminate gender oh gender really yeah yeah in this world they, they I put know. gender I think you answer well what do you mean like quick. what's Gen- looked at no, as worse or what yeah what do you, what, no no you, what, what do, do you i think, think is, worse? is worse to do i'm just taking the wiley and andrew tate situation i think mm. gender's worse oh, okay if we're comparing who did the worst out of them two not them two just what do, you think, what do you think is worse to discriminate against gender or to discriminate against uh religion and then and when you answer that i've got another i'm gonna if I'm you're gonna, ready answer. Answer. when when he said the yeah question, i think it's, what did you say? it's worse to discriminate against gender go on explain while i just think this through because i have to think this one through. because in my head i think it's you, the gender thing for me is similar to like racism like this might be a very simple answer, but you cannot choose your gender. You cannot choose your race. To some extent, not to some extent, where at, when you become an adult, you can choose your religion. You might be born into it and that might be with you for the rest of your life, but you are now an adult. You can choose to drop that religion, pick up that religion. And that is it. In To some arguments, religion is a man-made thing. Gender and race, there's no debate that is cut and dry. You are born with it. Yes, you might be able to change it, da, 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 but you are born with that. So I, I will always think the two worst things you could discriminate on is race and gender for me. That's my answer. Mm. I get what you're saying, <laughs> but I, I might put them at the same, at the same, like, and I know I hate people who answer that, but like, I think the same because the reason why I won't just say it is gender because we are where we are today because people have made the argument that actually no it doesn't fucking matter what you're born like mm. it's more how you feel mm. so it's kind of like as a society we've kind of said nope we don't agree in 
Like being bo- <laughs> being born, whatever you're born, it doesn't really fucking matter. And mm. it's more like how you feel, which is why we are where we fucking are today. Um, and yeah, like just like you can choose to change religion when you're older, in this day and age, you can choose to change your gender. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, I don't know. I really don't fucking know if this one. I ain't gonna lie to you. What do you think is um? When Calvin said the question, my immediate thought in my head was it's worse to discriminate against religion. I don't know why. I don't know. That's It's a good fucking question. You know what? I'm going to say religion only because I'm going to go off the worst atrocities in the world. You know what I'm saying? That's that I've come through saying. religion. That's what I was going to. But then, you yeah, know what I mean? I just think, though, that I don't, I actually, I think you have made good points and I'm not trying to say you're wrong. Yeah, yeah. In my head, I just think, and I might be repeating myself, yeah, when God. it all comes down to it, like, this might, this is obviously a very unrealistic um, example, but like, say the world is going to end, mm-hmm. the last thing you're going to be left with is like, like, who are you? Yeah, not yeah, like, yeah, yeah. not like, what are you? Or what, like, who are you in it? And like, I don't know. Maybe I'm making it too simple. No, no, no. I, I get what you're saying because even though I I put my argument in um in terms of like we are here because society has made basically made a decision. Yeah, 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 yeah. Me personally, I do think like look, bro. Like you are born of what you are. Yeah. Of course, you feel like you're something else, but you are born of what you are. Gender is like one of the most basic things as a human being. So I completely get where you're coming from. Mm. But I'm only just going to say, like, of course, there is abuse due to gender and stuff like that. But when it comes to religion, like, the atrocities that have happened, and that will continue to happen based on discrimination of religion, is not even comparable. Really and truly, when you compare them, the gender thing, you're just whining, bro. Shut the fuck up. Like, on a big man, like, like it's like, it's mad. Oh, I don't you know. know I, mean? that, I nah, don't know, you know. Because do you know what? Yeah. The it, the gender, mm-hmm. the religion one is way, way, way more big atrocities. Like, I'm not, I can never debate that. And it's mm-hmm. way more like, boom, this happened. Boom, this happened. Like, we got the Holocaust. Like, there's way more things where mass people have suffered all at once. I think the gender one, though, is just like, Woman you know religion. like if there's a, a, a raindrop on your head like there's a raindrop on your head and it's just like it's just one but it's not going to kill you at yeah. once but it's just steadily for ye- like for millenniums and generations just just ca- it's the guantanamo bay thing they're just gonna they're just gonna kill you softly like you, okay. you ain't gonna think it's getting you but it's got you do you know what i mean like uh-huh. i think i've made my choice I've okay my choice. go on then go on Kevin. let's hear it you think religion as well because you gotta think, mm-hmm. you gotta think. If you, okay, so I, I'm gonna play, I'm gonna paint this out how I've thought about this. I put a hundred people, hundred religious people there, yeah, mm-hmm. hundred just females there. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm so I'm I'm trying to be Tate, yeah. I yeah. know, <laughs> I know, I know, uh, I know for. Uh, not all women are the same, yeah? Yeah. Mm-hmm. So out of the 100 there, I don't reckon, I'd say 90% will disagree with what I say, will disagree with uh, Andrew Tate. So yeah. There'll yeah. be a 10 that'll be like. Yeah. There's always a, there's, there's, there's always people like that. Like, yeah, 1,000%, yeah. 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 Religion, yeah? If you go and cuss out 100 people, religious people, I bet you a hundred. I bet you. Yeah. I bet you they'll come up. They'll, they'll 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 come for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah, yeah. how I. Th- okay, mm. it's, it's a bit unfair to say that mm-hmm. to like generalize all women, but I know. Not I, I just know all the if you put all the women in in the world in front of Andrew Tate, not yeah, all yeah, of them that's to true. Like, I do agree. But with if you that. put like all the Muslims in front of just yeah. yeah. And, head, head and loss, fucking bro. say something. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's like they're, every, they're all marching. That's <laughs> <laughs> no, a tough one, man. It's, it's, it's a it's hell a, of a tough one. Nah, it's a good question. I can't believe I'm the it's only one that question. said gender, though. You when know what it is? It, yeah, I straight to religion. <sighs> the only way, the only reason I would sway to gender is just the scale of it. You know what I mean? Just yeah, like, like me and Calvin said, 
there's in every single religion there's a woman in it in every single culture like women is women are more than half men so it's like they're more than half the world yeah that's why i agree with you like it might not be on a big scale of like this like super big event but it's like fucking more than 50 percent of the people on earth you know what i mean yeah so i get why like the gender discrimination is also equally nearly as big but for me just goes back to like death is the final thing and to me it is it is the most important fucking uh what's it called the 10 fucking it's the biggest commandment <laughs> to break you know what i mean so it's like for me at least how i've been raised death is the final and the most biggest thing and like one thing the religion is affected death way more than gender discrimination has that's what i ultimately put it down to when it but it's close it's close it's close that i don't even though even saying this i don't know if i'm right in it mm, it like close. it is that close like I want to be like I, I disagree know. with you, but I don't really yeah. like. It's, no, it's a tough I would, one. I would love to know what people think, man. That would be easy. listen. Right, let us know what you especially think, especially man. You ladies out there, let us know. Yeah, yeah. Listen, and we will do. It. I know we've said this before, but oh, one day we will get either one or like a few girls. Uh, it's gonna have to be a super long pod where they can dispute some of the beliefs we have because yeah. some of the episodes we do have like it is just missing a woman's perspective yeah, yeah. and a woman perspective oh, is a lot different than we fucking think yeah than we'd think yeah that you know what i'm true. saying like wait if you have a conversation some of the things you talk about if you talk to a woman about it you're like holy shit like, not, they, did not think of it that bro way. i'm like fuck time to go so wake her up <laughs> uh, for we real bro just bro if she she would be too nervous but if she wasn't nervous like the point she man, when we talk about this shit oh she doesn't even drink bro she, she would she, she not come like if she was off mic uh off camera sorry maybe maybe she's got to have like a headphones through the wall bro as soon as we say something bad, yeah buzzer, i think like, if, yeah. if i genuinely <laughs> ask her she out, might bro. and if something if she's if it's something she's super um passionate about yeah. but she's so passionate sometimes that obviously i might be wrong but i feel like cloud her judgment yeah she's like me as well in a way that like she can be so passionate that's like she ain't gonna bend off phone no matter what and like she could be wrong you know what i mean so you two could just start swinging it out and you get to an argument <laughs> honestly if i ever put like a fucking phone to some of our conversations like our conversation we'll have the most innocent conversation and we'll end of like cool like she ain't even speaking to me for the next 30 minutes like she's actually mad like because she's like cool so this is why you want to raise i guess i'm like yo chill i'm just saying like this i see it you know the other day the other day bro it was a conversation of the most innocent sh- not yeah it was innocent what was it was i was telling her i was i had went to my mom's in it and i was telling her um, just basically a story about someone that me and my mom know uh was it my mom yes 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 it was, and this person was basically telling us about how like this basically there's a family there they have two kids the mum died and as a result to it the dad is like super depressed like he wasn't really like the older of the two kids and like old oh, i'm talking bonnie's age is having to do like a lot of shit in the house because yeah. the dad's super depressed and i was saying to have i was just explaining to her like what happened and then I, I started that conversation i was like um to me that's fucked up like what well, i was like basically say listen you have kids bro suck it up suck it the fuck up yeah you know what i mean and have was like, well, he can't fucking help how we fucking feel. And then it just got serious in it. And I actually do understand that point. Like, you can't help how you feel. Yeah. But my argument was like, once you have kids, you are making a decision from that day forward. No matter what your problems are, yeah, they are not fuck, bigger yeah. than these two fuckers you're raising yeah, here, bro. I agree. Until that. until yeah. they're 18. You know what I'm saying? But then I've got her point too. But that conversation and it had just had been fucking mad at me. <laughs> cause that's cause it's like cool. So you think people's fucking her point of view is like, so if I was ever to go through something like you think it's not as important as this and that, I was just like, for fuck's sake. But I just mean, look, if you have kids, you're making a decision. And I understand you can't control some things, but you are making a decision from that day forward. Like mm. you're going to, no matter what, you're going to have to control that. Cause it, it, 
there's two people more important than you or one person or however many. Yeah. But um, yeah, that was basically it. But anyway, listen, this is the end of this episode. Thank you for joining us. I know we were left, right, up, any everywhere. Started with swarms, ended with <laughs> bro, <laughs> ended with religion. But I, listen, it's that's a normal conversation. That's how it goes. You know what I'm saying? Um, back there, you know what I mean? Anyway, thank you for joining us. It was our first one back. I'm sure you can tell we're excited. Sorry if we made you cry and depressed. Oh, mate, and laugh all at the same time. <laughs> but um, we'll see you on the next fucking one. Peace. Peace. Peace.